As you can see on my computer, I've still got the 2023 versions, but the 2024s are starting to come out. We only upgrade when instructed to do so, because if you upgrade on your own, it can cause a great deal of difficulty for everybody else who sits at that computer. For example, if I were to try and open this project, which was made with the new 2024 version, I'm gonna get a message that essentially says, this file is from the future. I don't know what to do with it. So this project was saved in a newer version and cannot be opened. So in order to upgrade to the new one, we're going to use our Creative Cloud. Now we definitely do not want auto update to get switched on. You can always check that under preferences with apps right here that needs to stay turned off. And that is one reason I don't just click update available on these. I'm going to go to Premiere and instead go and look at what versions are out there. This is long term supported. It's the last one from 2023 and it'll be around for a while. The rest of these will disappear after a bit. I'm going to install the new 2024 version. I'm going to remove the old version from my computer. It's better not to have two versions on there and it's going to not be able to update it. That's because Premiere is open. Even though it's not got any projects, I'm going to try this and update now. Keeps trying, going to try again. So I may need to restart the computer. Sign out, then sign back in situations. So as you can see, it's all updated. I will note that it does automatically update Media Encoder as well. It needs that in order to be able to make the videos for export. So now I should be able to open up uh, this one. The underscore one is their little symbol. I'll show you how that works. If I open up my old project, I'm going to get a message saying that this project was made in a previous version of Premiere. Instead of the, this is in a newer version, it's the previous version. It's going to ask me to save it with a new name. I don't think underscore one is enough for us to really be able to tell that that's a new file. So always change the date code. That's a really good way to make sure like, okay, that's the newest date. That's the day we upgraded to the new one. You can leave that underscore one if you like, or you can remove it as long as you know that the newest one was made. Now this it's saying I cannot get these AEPs. These are the um, After Effects compositions I used in one of mine. So we need to upgrade After Effects as well if we haven't done that, if you're using those. I'm just going to go offline with those and I can reattach them. But now we've got our project opened up with the new version. You can tell that it's the new version if you're like not really sure. You can go to help and look at like about Premiere Pro and it'll tell you version 24. Um, also on this new uh, version, just click on that again to get rid of it. When you go to your learning workspace, they've got some new text-based editing, um, some powerful new tools. The main reason we went to 2024 is because it is faster and more stable. So a lot of these things we aren't going to be using for this particular project but they will be adding more and more things as artificial intelligence keeps adding more features to our program.